Some interesting characteristics of waves to be aware of. When you have more than one wave going on at a time, as represented by the two gray waves on the top of this animation, what happens is that when the two waves are either in phase or out of phase, there is uh, an increase in amplitude or a decrease in amplitude. So notice when a peak and a trough line up with one another, the resultant waveform in blue goes down to zero, but when the peaks line up with one another, there's an increase in amplitude in the resulting waveform. And just to reiterate, notice friendly particle number one and friendly particle number two living on this lovely sound wave and how they are oscillating around a fixed point and are not traveling from the left to the right, even though the pressure wave is traveling from left to right. Another uh, illustration of phase cancellation is a phenomenon known as beats. And the reason that it's called beating is because it kind of has a wah, 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 wah type effect. So there's two waves represented by the gray waves on top, and the blue wave at the bottom is the resulting wave. Now these two waves, as you can see, just visually are very close in frequency, although they're not exactly the same. They have slightly different frequencies. And the resulting wave has these moments where the amplitude goes down to zero and then moments where the amplitude is increased. So to illustrate that, um, again with Amadeus, we have our sound uh, with frequency one and then another sound with frequency two, slightly higher. If we copy and paste them together, you'll notice amplitude down to zero, increased amplitude. Listen to the beats.